My name is Jose Trujillo, I'm a fine art painter. I'm coming to you from my art studio with another one of my art advices that I like to share for art collectors and artists. This one's, uh, this one's for art collectors. And uh, the reason I'm going to talk about this one is because it's, it's probably one of the, it's probably the elephant in the room when it comes to collecting art. And this is, don't expect to make money on the art. Of course you would like to do that. Of course. Who, who wouldn't? You know, you buy a piece not only that you love, but that you are, you know that there can be uh, uh, financial gains, you know, later on with it. Of course. That's the aim. That's the aim of the artist as well. The artist wants to create pieces and wants to create a name for himself or herself and so that the art rises in value. But when you're collecting art, you want to make sure that unless you're doing it specifically for that reason, then then, uh, then you, you pretty much know what you're doing because you have enough information about to, to how to purchase art for financial gains. Um, I'm specifically talking to, to art collectors that are new to the, to, to the game. And maybe, maybe you're not new to the game. Maybe you've been there and you've been burned a couple of times where you're, where you're like, oh, I can relate to that. Well, this is, this is my point. Um, art, when, when you're purchasing art, and you're starting out to collect art or you want to get into collecting art, you want to make sure that you buy it because you love it, because you're going to live with it. And if it occurs that the, that, you know, later on the artist makes uh, a name for himself or herself, then you, you know, you, <laughs> it's a double, it's a, it's a double punch, you know, not only do you have a, a great piece of art that you enjoy, you love, and you're proud of to keep in your home or your office or your work space, uh, space. But now, you know that you, if you wanted to sell or you wanted to, you know, put in the market later on, it's going to give you financial rewards. Um, that's fantastic. But I think that that's, that's the second uh, reason why you want to go into art. But don't make that the first one. At least when you're starting out, the first reason you want to go into it is because you, you love it, you enjoy it, it calls you, it attracts you. Don't, don't make that mistake. There's a lot of mistake going on with, with, with art collectors that way. They're like, oh, I, I'm going to buy it so that I can resell it and make this. You know, of course you want to do that. That's, that's fantastic. But make, make sure that, at least when you're starting out, that that's the second motive. The first motive is because you love it. And that way, if the artist, for some reason, does not create that name or that's not, you know, the art doesn't rise in value uh, or in the time that you're expected to, uh, you're you're not left with not only something you don't like and you're stuck with it, you know. But you're left uh, if if you if you do it for the love, you're left with something that you love, and regardless of, you still love it. So my name is Jose Trujillo, a fine art painter, and thank you so much for watching.